Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. Today I'll be giving you my thoughts on the Maison Francis Kirkajan Discovery Kit. This lovely, lovely kit with eight fragrances. <sighs> I had such a time trying these out and honey, she has some thoughts. Also, there is some really, really big news for US residents that you might wanna tune in for. I ain't gonna tell you now, you're gonna have to sit through the video. We're gonna go right down the line, starting off with Aqua Universal Cologne Forte. Most of these scents are unisex, and this one, definitely for a man. This was described as a musky citrus. I just did not like this. This leaned a little too masculine for my taste. I have my notes right here, because every day I wore it, every day I wrote notes. So I immediately wrote no. You first get hit with that bergamot, which is kind of like limey. I have no problem with that. But throughout the day, all I kept smelling was wet nickels. It just gave me such a zing in my nostrils where I was just like, oh my God, this is too much. This actually, as I wore it, made my eyes water. I just was like, oh, oh my God. Like, and it just intensified throughout the day. I was just like, oh no, girl, or no. So the top notes are bergamot, the middle notes are mock orange sweet pea, and the base notes is white musk. Yeah, I just did not enjoy wearing this at all. I just felt like it it just had a hole on my nostrils and <laughs> it just did not let up. You know how you stump your toe and you feel that zing? That's how I felt throughout the whole day. Like I would take a, a breath and I'll feel that zing in my nostrils. And I was just like, nope, this one was definitely not for me. I would definitely like to smell it on a guy. And this is supposed to be the women's fragrance line and I just, don't understand how this one slipped up in there because it just it's just too much there's mad versions of the aqua line so then it's like aqua insert name then it's aqua insert name forte then it's aqua insert name cologne forte and i'm just like what's the difference the regular one is just uh eau de toilette and the other two are eau de parfums but i don't know the difference between the two but as soon as you said cologne i felt like this this should have been for a man but it's it's cool i just didn't enjoy this one next up we have aqua celestia cologne forte and this one i couldn't decide whether i vibed with it or not because at first you get that really lemony freshness but then it kind of smelled like a lemon cleaner maybe even like lemon pledge and i just was like Again, you had that bergamot right at the top mixed in this time with black currant. Then in the mid, you had jasmine, mimosa, and then the base, you had musk. I think the black currant definitely got lost because that bergamot just was like, hello, I'm here. And then I was hoping that the jasmine and the mimosa would kind of part the crowd and say, hey, I'm here. I feel like I smell it, but I don't enjoy it you know so there were times throughout the day i was just like do i like this do i not like this and yeah i just really couldn't make up my mind with this one and it's such a pretty bottle too i just like how the blue one looks because obviously blue favorite color this is definitely a summer fragrance in my opinion because it it does give off that clean fresh vibe they list it as a fruity citrus and like I, yeah i guess you could say that because it's not really floral at all it's, yeah i think i i would agree with that i really didn't vibe with this but it's something that i'm just like i might have to try this on a few more times to really dead it in the water or just be like you okay you can come to shore the last one from the aqua line is aqua vitae cologne forte out of the three this one i liked probably the most you still get that really bright bergamot but the mandarin orange at the top really helps it this also has floral notes solar notes musk and sandalwood this gave me shampoo vibes 
it's kind of bright, kind of zesty. There was something to this one. And I think that the sandalwood kind of smoothed it out a little bit, gave it a little bit more of a body and the addition with the floral. Yeah, this one I actually did like. Out of the three, this one I felt like was a little bit more feminine clean than the other two. Like the first one definitely leaned more masculine. The second one, I could see either or really vibing with it. And then this one, I felt like was a little bit more feminine with those florals. So I really did like it. This one is the one I definitely would pick if I had to choose between the three. I wouldn't see myself reaching for this to go out at night or to brunch or anything. Yeah, I just wear this to work. Yeah, something just very and keep it pushing. Amorous Femme. This is the EDP version. There is an extrait also available. This one I got very floral vibes. Super floral, super feminine. It had like a touch of sweetness to it, but not too much. This is another one that I was on the fence about, whether I really liked it or not. At the top, Lemon Blossom California Orange. In the middle, we had Amorous and Iris. And then at the base, you had Vetiver, Musk, and Amber. Based on the notes, it is a fruity floral. I know I said I didn't like Iris, but Iris gives fragrances that powdery feel. I, at least I think it does. And this definitely, once it kind of settled maybe through like the afternoon, then it started to like, that powder started to creep in, which was really nice. I think that's the part of it. I kind of, I, I really dug. I didn't get much of the, the orange at the top. So I was just like, hmm. but there's something a little bit more mature about it. On for Grantica, it does say that it uh, has a woody accord and you can get that. This isn't a floral I would reach for. Like it would be nice to have. I feel like there are other florals out there that I liked a little bit more, even within the MFK realm. Still beautiful. And it was very long lasting, I'll tell you that. It, <laughs> These things was all the way long, but this one, I just was like, eh, it's, it's okay. Gentle Fluidity Gold. Wow, that was exactly what I said when I first sprayed it. I was just like mesmerized. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. This is a fruity scent for grown women. When you first spray it, it's a little bit sparkly and fizzy at the top. And it reminded me of Lan Van Mi. They don't smell the same at all, but it was like that sparkly, like just that sparkly fruitness. And then it just, oh, that cloud of just sugary freaking goodness. This, this was absolutely lovely, beautiful. You have vanilla, amber, musk, woody notes. That juniper berry, that's what's at top, that just sparkly berry. Then you have nutmeg and coriander. I loved every second of wearing this. I grabbed for this vial multiple times. You see that dent that I put in here? Oh, baby. Baby, this was, oh, throughout the entire day. You had that juniper berry at the top. Evening, it turned into like this beautiful, creamy, cozy vanilla. Oh, I can spray this every day and not get sick of it. It has that sweetness to it, but it's not nauseatingly sweet. My jacket still smells like this and it's been, a couple of weeks and it was so hard for me not to constantly reach for this vial there was a couple of basketball games i went to i grabbed this and then i was like oh wait i've been using that a lot <laughs> let me let me put that down but this just absolutely stunning i remember when i first wore it i smelled like the teeniest bit of like pine i don't know if you guys caught that but it was very light very faint and i don't know my nostril was on 10 that day but i i wrote it down but i haven't smelt it since but that first time i wore it i did smell it 
and it just disappeared and I was just left with that beautiful like vanilla. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of people talk about Baccarat Rouge. Everybody talks about it. But this one is just stupendous. Scrum Deliumptious. Absolutely. This got my Scrum Deliumptious stamp of approval. Brace yourself for my thoughts on this one. This is Oud Satin Mood. I freaking hate the opening of this. This reminded me of Kaoli's Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. It had that cabbage patch doll face smell at the top. Whatever note those two share, I, I don't like it. I don't spray it on a card first. I spray it directly to my skin, sniff it and be like, okay, today's gonna be a good day or today is gonna be a really rough day for me. And when I sprayed this one, I was like, okay, we're gonna have a bad freaking day. <laughs> so this has Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, vanilla, Oud, which is Argo wood, mm -hmm. uh, uh, violet and benzoin. Maybe around noon, I sniffed again and I was like, hmm, something's, something's going on. And then that vanilla kicked in. And I was like, oh, that's what everyone's talking about. Because that first like few hours of Absolutely no, 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 no. But when that vanilla started popping through, I was just like, oh yes, here, here we go, guys. This is what I'm vibing with. Now, I felt like this was very gala vibes. We're going to a gala. Like some sort of pediatric wing, some sort of art festival bidding will be occurring <laughs> for thousands of dollars. I've never been to a gala either. So actually, no, I have. I, I went to some random like doctor one. Super, super weird, but I looked really good that night. But <laughs> this is for me very nighttime approach. Smell you before you you know who it is. This stuck on my skin for so, so long. But towards the end of this, I did not mind it. Like, you know, as I was getting ready to take my shower at night, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad. I'm about to, you know, rinse my body off and this is gonna be gone. I don't know how people can just sniff this and instantly love it. I was not that person. It's worth it to try it on your skin and to see if you like it. This is not an everyday scent unless you're that type of person where you're like, <clears throat> this is my vibe, go off sis, do you. But for me, no, I'm not at that level of life yet <laughs> where this would be an everyday signature scent. A confident man would smell delicious in this especially when that vanilla kicks in. I don't know if it's the oud that I wasn't vibing with because this is the first time I think I smelt oud in a fragrance. I understand why it was nice because it did start becoming very sweet. I like it. Definitely wasn't love for me, but it was a it was a flirty. She's flirty. <laughs> like not the scent, but yeah, it's just like we could talk a little bit. We can play a little phone tag. The ever so popular Baccarat Rouge 540. I've seen so many videos on this. It was ridiculous and everyone's like, oh my God, this is amazing. This has got to have it, blah, blah, blah. First sniffing it, I was like, okay, what's the hype? <laughs> it's beautiful, but is that it? Like that, that was it? And I can see how if you were just at the counter and you sprayed this and you're just like, okay, it's pretty, but it's not wowing. The magic with this one is when you do wear it on your skin. Now, this one was very little Kim on me. She started disappearing like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like just where you at? I had to do big actions in order for me to like smell it. And then even when I first apply it, I'll spray it and I'm like, I don't smell it. But spraying this on my clothing, oh, oh. She lasts forever and ever, ever and ever, ever. I think that's why it was disappearing on me because it was cold. But 
There was one day it was really warm out. It might've been the first time we hit 70 in Jersey. And I wore this and I guess because, you know, it's warm out, your blood starts flowing a little bit better. I was really, really smelling it. And I was just like, oh, she's delicious. Some of the videos that I saw, people were saying it smelled medicinal or like a Band-Aid or something. I personally didn't get that. I go very nose blind to this. It's like, are you there? And then I'm like, okay, maybe it's my allergies. I didn't. Shit, I didn't take my allergy pill this morning. <laughs> but yeah, I just, it'll just come and go as she pleases. But when she shows up, it's like, hey girl, I'm here. Oh, I said. <laughs> and then it's just like, okay, bye. It's kind of like me. If I was a perfume, I'd probably be this one. It's like when I show up, you're gonna have a great time. But I'm gonna be out. I, again, have been using the heck out of this. I really, really liked it. It it was just an easy reach. Something I can spray on, set it and forget it. If somebody smells it, they're like, oh, well you, you smell nice. And I'm like, all right, cool, thanks. Glad, glad you showed up. But I also don't over spray because I'm like, I'm trying to, you know, hold off on it. <laughs> like I want to keep it, but I absolutely love the fragrance. It's just really, really beautiful. I, I get the hype. Finally. <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540 x -Straight. This one, I literally wrote, holy fucking shit. <laughs> Immediately, I smelt that bitter almond. Everyone's like, oh, the almond note, the almond note. And I was just like, okay. No, it's literally the almond note. When I was first testing it, I just grabbed it and I saw Baccarat Rouge and I sprayed it, said holy fucking shit, and I thought it was just the original. I did not know it was the straight version the first time I wore this. This one is so elegant, so sophisticated, it's rich, wealthy. I got cotton candy goodness. I was just in a world of sweetness, surrounded by just, ugh beauty. This is an all year round type of fragrance, including the Baccarat Rouge. You could just wear it anytime. Never been so disappointed about doing laundry in my life because my clothing would smell so good. And I'm just like, yo, this fragrance smells way too good for me to wash this shirt right now. Let me, let me wear this shirt again. Absolute perfection. This one had me at hello. I feel like it's big bottle energy. This extrait had me all the way just smelling myself. I was in love with myself. If you want to be in love with yourself, try out the extrait. If you had to choose between the regular and the extrait, go for the extrait. I really like the original, but because I sp smelt the extrait, first and was so in love and then i got to the regular and i was just like Meh. you know what it reminded me of outcast outcast double album i fucked up and i listened to the love below and then i was like screw speaker box <laughs> speaker box is a dope album just letting you know Oof. unhappy favorite jam but that's what happened with Baccarat Rouge in the extrait version. And then one day I fucked up and mixed the two. <sighs> mm. Don't try this at home, kids. So, ranking them is going to be Gentle Fluidity, Baccarat Rouge Extrait, and the original. Those are my top three girls. I was just like, yes, ma'am, to all of y'all. In the middle, definitely had to put um, Oud Satin Mood, Amor's Femme, and which one is this one? Aqua Vita Cologne Forte. Those three are in the middle. And then at the bottom is just Aqua Universalis and Aqua Celestia. Now, the three that are in the middle, I would probably get the 30 ml bottles of. 100%, it's like nice to have, but I really wouldn't want the big, big bottle. So you're probably wondering what the news is for us US residents. Listen up because 
it's a sad day. So MFK got hip to the fact that we were purchasing fragrances through the international site to get that conversion rate. <laughs> so in the end, these fragrances are cheaper. So they were like, eh -eh, no more for you guys. So now we have a dedicated US site. Now before you hop on their website and try to buy it from the international site, I already did the research. Nope, they shut it down. Luckily, before the US site, I guess was live, I ended up purchasing Gentle Fluidity Gold because I absolutely loved it. I wanted to buy the BR540X straight. However, I already knew that was gonna be my birthday gift. <laughs> so I was telling one said gentleman that, oh, you could just go onto the international site and just buy it that way. But now that's no longer a option. So I'm just like, <laughs> yes, you gotta buy the US. And the US version of the X straight is a pretty penny so i am happy that i got this but of course if i can turn back time i would have just bought the x straight and this one it it wasn't that expensive hence why i purchased it because i wanted the gift to be expensive i'm lavish but i'm logical something else to note if you just recently purchased samples which i did when i purchased this you know that you can get a coupon code to put towards your next purchase. When I was trying to buy the X straight and put in my coupon code, my coupon code was accepted for that, but because I couldn't check out, I couldn't use it. So definitely contact someone from the US site saying, hey, I have a coupon code valid for the international site. I need something for the US site and they will probably, you know, validate it or whatever. So now I think samples are going for $25 for four samples, where it was 15 euro. So uh, yeah, luckily I bought all the samples that I wanted, minus the men's line and the rest of the aqua line. I'm trying to think like maybe I can buy it from like Selfridges or something like that. And see if I can, like, I gotta see how the, the numbers work out because you know, this is gonna save some money, okay? And then if there's anyone traveling internationally, think of your girl. I'm trying to get down with the duty free, so hit a girl up. My birthday is in June if you wanna get me a gift. <laughs> I'd be most appreciative of it. But those are my thoughts on MFK. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one.